Hello there, how are you doing today? In today's video, we are going to learn about making CAPSIM decision. We are also going to help you to understand the way you can use to avoid mistake, maximize your points, and also feel good. So before we start, kindly consider subscribing to our channel never to miss out such content in future. So let us start. We'll begin with research and development. In this CAPSIM, because it's a CAPS foundation, we only have uh, one product. We are also company airy. Our main product is it. At round zero, it had a performance of 6.4, size of 13.6, and reliability of 21,000. It is a crossover product, meaning it sells both in low-tech and high-tech market segment. Before we proceed, let us evaluate what customers want in both of these segments. For late tech market segment, price is the most important thing for customers. It accounts for 41% of their satisfaction. Age of 3.0 accounts for 29% of their satisfaction. And reliability accounts for 21%. Ideal position accounts for 9%. For high tech, market segment, ideal position has come first with 33% importance. Age of 0.0, .0 is 29% important. Price of between $25 and $45 is 25% important. Reliability of between $17,000 and $23,000 is 13% important. So if we go by looking at the most important thing, to sell in low-tech market segment, we need to focus most on the price. But on high tech market segment, we need to focus on the ideal position. Because we only have one product, we want to maximize our sales. So we'll focus on positioning our product mostly in the intersection between low tech and high tech market segment. Based on that, we aimed at providing it with performance of 6.8 and sales of 13.2. We also reduced reliability to 20,000 because we wanted to lower down material cost. This decision will make uh, this product to appear newer. The revised product will be on the market by 23rd of April this year, which is 2022. The age at revision will be 1.7 years. The age at the end of the year will be 2.4 years. If we recheck uh, what customer wants in low-tech market segment, it's product with an age of 3.0. So at least we'll be able to meet some, some percentage of that amount, which is too close to 3.0, but 2.4 is also not too far from 0.0, .0 which customers really want in high-tech market segment. We also introduced a newer product called EVE. We provided EVE with a performance of 8.5, and size of 11.5 and reliability of 21,000. This product will be on the market by 2nd July 2023, which is in the next round, round two. This product is designed to sell mostly in high tech market segment. At the time of its revision, it will be having an age of 0, 0.0, which is perfect for high tech market segment. This means that we will enjoy a larger percentage of that 29% of age of 0.0, .0 that customers want in high-tech market segment. Okay, now we can proceed to our next item or department, which is marketing. Because product it sells both in low-tech and high-tech market segment, we increase our price from 34.0 to 37.5. Doing this will ensure we maximize our margin. We also increase our promotion budget from 1,000 to 2,000. By increasing this budget, we will also increase our customer awareness from 55% to 82%. We are also aiming to increase our accessibility, and that's why we raise our budget, which is sales budget from 1,000 to 3,000. We should note that there's no additional benefit of spending more than 3,000 if you have only one product in a given segment. Now, based on the decision that you have made in the research and development, and also some of the decisions that you have made in marketing, 
we estimated that we will sell 1356 units the formula to calculate uh, both the promo budget sorry then awareness and forecast is shown on the screen we can proceed to our next item which is production for production we produce 1440 units for product it however we projected only to sell 1356 units and we also have inventory of 87 units the reason for producing more than what we projected is because we do not want to stock out stocking out will make us to lose point and we don't want that so it is prudent to have some extra units so that we do not stock out we also ordered capacity and automation for a new product if because it will be on the market in the next year we ordered 300 units capacity with 3.0 automation we increased capacity for it by 6 units but we did not change its automation for it which we will drop it back to low tech market segment having automation having higher automation is beneficial because it reduce labor cost and increase our contribution margin however we could not increase our automation because our spending cap was already reached we had spending cap at six million nine hundred forty eight thousand dollars that's all for production we can now move to finance Before making financial decision, you need to check the balance scorecard. You need to check metrics such as leverage and days of working capital. Currently, our leverage is 3.7 out of 8. To make a maximum point, we need to increase our leverage. Leverage can be increased by issuing short-term debt as well as long-term debt. To balance our financial structure, we increased our we borrowed three three million dollars and we also issued two two million four hundred and eighty thousand dollars on long term debt. The result was a balanced financial structure and that's why we increased our leverage to eight point zero. Whilst making this decision you need to check your income statement to make sure that you are not making losses when you issue long-term debt and short-term debt it has interest this interest may reduce your net profit so when you check uh, these numbers ensure that at least you have some profit because if you, you are making losses it will be difficult to raise your stock prices and it will also be difficult for you to finance your plant improvements i think that's all for today hope you have learned something today and in case you have any question kindly comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible also can you remember to like and subscribe never to miss out awesome content in future again thank you and have a nice day